There's democracy in action tonight in St. Lucie County. Make that slow motion action. The West Murphy ballot battle under the microscope at the St. Lucie County Supervisor of Elections Office. That's where we find News Channel 5's Angela Cruz. Angela? Kelly, good evening. Here at the Supervisor of Elections Office, it's a busy, although a tedious scene, as inside these doors, the canvassing board continues to verify hundreds of ballots one at a time. It's going to take us a while to get this done. St. Lucie County Supervisor of Elections Gertrude Walker says there's an unusually high number of ballots to verify tonight. We had 691 um, provisional ballots, and we've never had more than 100. The process began after 5 o'clock, and hours later, the canvassing board is still going through each ballot, verifying signatures. Usually we come in to count provisional ballots. We're here 30 minutes, and we're, and we're out. Walker says the number of provisionals is skyrocketing after a new law that requires anyone that moves from county to county to vote a provisional ballot. The lengthy procedure echoes election night results when this office didn't post final unofficial numbers until after one in the morning. It is processed, so we'll just stay here until we finish it. Walker describes this as a process they've done many times, but she says now it's been multiplied by several hundred. She says the canvassing board will not leave tonight until all 309 ballots that were not read at the polls and all 691 provisional ballots have been verified. Live in Fort Pierce, Angela Cruz, WPTV News Channel 5.